Hello guys. So today I'll discuss to you on how to add a floating action button to your Ionic project. Okay, so let's start. So we're going to define a floating action button to our project. So inside of the Ion content, okay, so we'll be adding the floating action button. So the main the main tag is the ion fab dash ion then fab okay and then in in our ion fab component we'll be defining the ion button or the ion fab button slash ion dash fab button and then inside of our ion fab button we'll be adding a an icon which is the ion icon slash ion dash icon and then we'll be adding the source attribute then for example we'll be adding the Ionic cons, which is the add. So in our previous video, I discussed on how to add an icon on our project. So all you need to do is to import the Ionic cons for you to use the icon. So import. Then let's say the add from. Okay, single code. Semicolon. Then. Ionicons, Ionicons slash icons. Okay, and then add. Then we need to specify that to our setup. Then return add. Okay, so we have the floating action button. So Let's check the output first. Although we have we have different attributes that we are going to add to our ion fab or the floating action button, but we need to check the default values on those attributes. So by default, the floating action button appears on the top rightmost of our applications. So, for example, you want to move that I, that floating action button at the bottom of our project. So, we need to specify the different uh, attributes, the vertical and the horizontal attribute of the ion fab. So, for example, we will be moving it the bottom of the application. So, all we need to do is we need to specify the uh, first the vertical attribute then will be uh, for example so we're going to move to at the bottom so the value for that is bottom then the horizontal attribute the value for that is either start middle or center or the end so so end for the right uh, side of the application so we are able to move that button using the two uh, attributes so for example you want it to put on the top right so all you need to do is we're going to change that into top okay so you are able to move that at the top of your application or if you want to move at that at the bottom and left side so the value for that is start okay, left side bottom left bottom side so we have here the output so bottom so if you want that to display your application at the center okay at the center of your project then you can do that by setting that 
the horizontal to center by the vertical to center so center then if you want to move it to the center then all you need to do that is to change that into center also okay so that's the two attributes so the uh, two main attributes team uh, if you're going to move or to change the location of your floating action button okay so in our uh, in this video we'll be placing our uh, our floating action button at the bottom right part of our application okay so we have here the button okay bottom right then okay so we can also add a click event of this floating action button so let's try that by adding the click so on your ion fab button you're going to add click event so equal to so for example you're displaying you're going to display a toss message show toss message okay so copy and then we'll be adding a methods in here so we'll be adding a methods methods colon and then our first function or method then do not forget to put the async statement and then inside of this is we'll be defining a constant variable which is the toss is equal to so do not forget to specify the toss controller okay the toss controller so that we could define the toss message so we need to specify the oh wait it is a partner of the asynchronous okay toss controller okay and then that the method which is the create and then need to specify the okay and then semicolon so need to specify the attribute so we'll just make it uh, simple only the message attribute and then let's say okay okay and then we'll be returning that return toss that present first we'll be displaying the toss message okay control s so we need to check the output so if you click this button automatically it will prompt you a toss message so okay so it's good it appears a message or okay another one is we can also display uh, multiple options aside of the this one for example if you're going to uh, display more options for this button you can use that by adding a a tag or another tag inside of our ion fab which is the ion fab list so for example we'll be removing this one we don't need this anymore the method and then toss controller of course we'll be removing that and then we'll be adding uh, so we need to remove also this one and then we need to add the another tag which is the ion fab list so in here we'll be adding more options aside from the button you can also display more more options okay then inside of our ion fab, fab list you can specify uh, more buttons aside from our main 
buttons here. So for example, we'll be adding additional buttons here. Two more buttons. Okay. So we didn't ch change the icon. Later on, we'll be changing that. So let's check first the output. Okay, so it's already refreshed. Then click the uh, floating action button. So we don't know. Okay, so we have a problem here. We didn't specify where the icon will be displaying or the more options in our ION family. So there is an attribute which is called side. Then let's try to specify that as and then refresh okay so we are able to display more buttons so for example you're going to uh, click this button for example a share button then you're going to share to Facebook to YouTube for example so let's try that so we need to change the icon let's uh, change that into share and this one is for example logo facebook so on our ionic on so we'll be changing that to share logo facebook then for example youtube also logo youtube and then we need to add these icons on our setup property and then we'll be using that so logo youtube So we need to copy, copy so that we will not encounter an error for that for the case. So we'll be checking the output by clicking this button. So we have this kind of output. So once you click the share button, and then it will appear with the additional options or additional buttons aside from our main floating action button. So you can also change the color of these buttons. So for example, you can change the color of the icon or the button itself. So for the Facebook, the button itself and the YouTube uh, will be changing the color. Okay, the color of the icon. So for the Facebook, we'll be changing the color, the color of the button. So let's say since the color of Facebook is blue, so we'll be using the color primary. And then for the YouTube, we'll be using the, the color, which is the success, the red one. Okay, so in here, we change the color of the floating action button. But in our second button, we change the color of the, the color of the icon. Okay, so let's try that. So click the okay. So click the the floating action button. So we have a problem with here because we use success. So color Facebook is red, so it should be danger. Okay, so that it will be appropriate to their logo. So click the floating action button. So we have this kind of output. So for uniformity. All we need to change is the logo, the color of the Facebook. So we'll just move the color attribute to the icon as the so that we can change the color of the Facebook, which is better. Okay, so it's better. Okay, another thing is, for example, instead of displaying this at the top of the floating action button, you can also display on the left side of the floating action button so all you need to do is you need to change this one to start so there's there are two options start or the end so if you change that with start and then okay it will display on the left side of the floating action button so it depends where are you going to display these more buttons so since the floating action button is at the, the bottom right 
of our application so it's appropriate to display on the side the left side of the local action button then if you're going to move that to the left side of the application so we'll just change that by moving this to or by changing this to start and then the ion fab this will be changing that into end okay so once you click this button okay it will appear on the right side of the floating action button okay so that's all thank you for watching see you on our next videos